Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Anupav and today in this video I'm going to talk about next generation firewall scalable design in Azure. In this video I'm going to talk about separation of internet and east-west traffic. In part one of this video series, I talked about complete design, how you can place multiple firewalls behind load balancers and achieve horizontal scale. In part two, I showed you end-to-end -end demonstration of uh, scalable design in Azure. I'm going to add links to these videos in description of this video. So before I talk about uh, segregation, let me quickly recap what is a scalable design and how we can use native load balancers to achieve horizontal scale. Now if you look at this particular example, I have multiple firewalls sitting behind external load balancer. I also have internal load balancer running HA port functionality. So using this HA port functionality load balancer, internal load balancer and external load balancer, I'm achieving horizontal scale out. In addition to load balancers, I'm also using UDRs, user-defined routes. If you look at UDRs, next hop for uh, my packet is going to be virtual IP address of my load balancer. So any traffic going outside or coming inbound from internet is handled based on the routes given in the UDR. Let's talk about few traffic flows here. So first traffic flow that is really important to understand is inbound traffic. In this particular use case, users will hit front end IP address on the external load balancer. Now external load balancer will go ahead and decide um, which firewall to forward traffic to. And uh, the moment we receive traffic on the firewall based on five double hashing, I'm going to translate that traffic to egress interface of the firewall. So if traffic is inbound, I'm going to translate my traffic to inside interface of the firewall, and then I will forward that traffic to uh, application server. Now application server will uh, use the same traffic path and it will return traffic back to the same firewall. So we maintain symmetry using source NAT in this particular use case. Now, if traffic is outbound, if you have your application servers uh, talking to internet for downloading any kind of patches or updates or some kind of repository in in internet for uh, you for adding some kind of package on the application servers, then your traffic will leave virtual NIC of your application server and it will hit UDR. Based on the information given or routes given in the UDR, traffic will hit internal load balancer. Now this internal load balancer has a capability which is known as HA port functionality. So this load balancer um, can load balance entire TCP and UDP traffic. Along with that, this load balancer is designed to maintain symmetry. So the moment I'm going to forward that traffic to internal load balancer, this load balancer will forward that traffic to one of the firewalls available in the backend pool. And from there, it will go to internet. So in this uh, outbound use case, we translate our source to egress interface. For this particular traffic flow, egress interface is outside interface. Another important use case is when you have east-west traffic. Uh, now when I say east-west traffic, my web, web uh, subnet can talk to application subnet or application subnet can talk to database subnet as well. In this case, again, we use UDR to forward traffic to load balancer. Load balancer will pick up one firewall in the backend pool and then traffic will go to destination uh, subnet and return traffic will take the same path because again on the destination subnet there is another UDR which will send this traffic back to the ILB and ILB is designed to maintain symmetry so ILB knows where exactly um, it has to send traffic. Another important use case is traffic coming from your data center. If you have express route connectivity from your data center to your Azure cloud, you can apply UDR on your gateway subnet and 
forward traffic to your internal load balancer. So this is uh, a setup where you have single set of firewall. You have multiple firewalls um, handling your internet traffic, and it is handling your um, your east-west traffic as well. But there are situations where customers would like to have segregated firewalls, like one set of firewall uh, for uh, doing your uh, internet traffic, another set of firewall only for east-west traffic. Now in this particular example, I'm using external load balancer and external load balancer points to firewall one and firewall two. Uh, I have internal load balancer with virtual IP one. I'm using this first pair only for um, my inbound and outbound internet traffic another pair is using virtual ip2 it can be a same load balancer uh, or it, uh, with two uh, front-end ip addresses front-end ip address one points to uh, first pair front-end ip address two points to second pair or you can provision another load balancer as well now, if you look at the uh, UDRs in this particular case, my default route is always pointing to virtual IP1, which is my first load balancer, and uh, any east-west traffic destination uh, is pointing to virtual IP2, which points to another set of firewall, and this set of firewall is only for east-west traffic. Now, let's talk about traffic flow. So any traffic hitting external load balancer will go to firewall one or firewall two, and then we do uh, uh, translate source to egress interface, and we maintain symmetry accordingly. Another uh, use case is outbound. So UDRs will uh, come into play, and it will forward traffic to um, virtual IP one, and virtual IP one points to firewall one or firewall two from there. Uh, it will pick another firewall and traffic will reach internet. Another use case is east-west traffic. So for east-west traffic, I'm not using first and second firewall, I'm using firewall three and firewall four. So I can, um, based on my UDRs, I can forward traffic to virtual IP2, which is defined in route two of my uh, UDR. And based on that, traffic is going to be forwarded to either firewall three or firewall four. And this is how I can segregate my internet traffic and east-west traffic. Again, um, the same kind of use case where I have data center traffic coming in. So um, UDR uh, applied on my gateway subnet is going to have virtual IP2 as the next hop to reach web and application. So traffic will go to my uh, second virtual IP or second load balancer. If I have a second load balancer handling that traffic, it will go there and from there it will reach firewall three or firewall four and then it will go to destination um, subnet. So in this particular video, I tried explaining you how we can achieve segregation of internet traffic and east-west tra uh, traffic. And this is um, a kind of a deployment required by InfoSec team. So some customers might require uh, a different kind of setup where they need one set of firewalls doing their inbound and outbound internet connection. Other set of firewall is only for internal production traffic. So with this, I've reached at the end of the video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.